To paraphrase the immortal lyrics of the Scorpions, here I am, rock you like a turrican. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> I hope you're doing well today, my friends. Welcome to Super Turrican. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. So I've had this game playing for a little while and uh, I, judging just by the demo alone, I, I think I'm going to love it. <laughs> uh, welcome in everybody. Sparrow, the Dragoon Sparrow first in chat. Good to see you, my friend. Itarama, thank you, as always, for the positivity, Itty. It's great to have you here with us. Oh, boy. Awesome. <laughs> uh. Uh. Through some jelly. Welcome in, jelly and cows. Just going to put, I've got all my mods here. I'm putting all my mods commands in the chat. All right. So I, yeah, I'm feeling really optimistic about this game. I've just, I've watched the demo play a little bit by itself here and it looks, uh, looks like the kind of thing that I'm really going to like. So let's, uh. Let's go ahead and get ready to dive in. Uh, tonight we're going to play Super Terrican. We're going to play this for three hours um, at least. After we, uh, well, we're going to play it for three hours or until we finish it. I could, uh... I could come to find out that, you know, like, like Contra or something like that, it's a very easy game. Rapid fire on or off? On by default. So we'll leave it on. We've got easy, normal, and hard. We'll leave it at normal. Uh, fire, jump, beam, line. Oh, that's strange. Hmm. Can I change those around? I can. Probably don't want to, though. Um, but anyway, we're going to play uh, Super Turrican for the first part of the stream. Um, we're going to play it for about three hours, unless we beat it faster than that. <laughs> um, and then we're going to play uh, Echo the Dolphin for the second half of the stream. Uh, I'm not looking forward to more Echo. Um, we're right near the end of Echo, and if by some miracle I beat that, then um, we will also play a little bit of Fazanadu, but... If you're if you've tuned in for Fazana do, don't don't hold your breath. Um Cow said <laughs> it's been a bit since I've made it to the beginning of a stream. What a terrible joke to come back to. <laughs> oh, <laughs> The worst thing about that joke is I'm gonna have is I'm gonna have that song stuck in my head for the rest of the night. Uh, hopefully, <laughs> the cow's command cracks you up. Jelly says, uh, "I have a feeling you're gonna finish it." Sparrow says, "We uh we'll see. We'll see how it goes." I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I've never played it before. I've never seen it played except for just a little bit while the demo was uh, was running here. So I'm uh, I'm mostly going in blind. Master Tuesday, welcome to the stream. Not if the '80s style soundtrack on this game has anything to do with it. This is gonna get this is gonna replace anything that may be stuck in my head. Fair enough. Jelly says, "I bet you would have said that about just about any other joke, though." Cows, <laughs> cows is very true. Oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Oh, 
Agent Frowny in shambles. <laughs> Uh, it's got a very uh, sort of grand opening here. Turn the volume up just a little. No, I don't want to watch any more of it. I've had enough spoiled already. I know, so I know that there's an ice level that was spoiled for me. One up, all right. Okay, wow, we've got like a really kind of high camera moving jump. What a great first level tune. I see what beam and line are. Exits that away. Has that thing been just creeping upward? I can't fire up or down. Whoa, what is this? Okay, I could roll a I can roll around though. Oh, upgrade. Are these all upgrades? Maybe. Oh! Oh no, I didn't see that guy. Alright, well, first... This guy seems like the first boss. This guy is, uh, wicked difficult. Oh. We're on a time limit, too. I have to keep moving. Can't break the candles. It's not Castlevania. Ooh, there's some health. All the fun, no sadness, Frowny. Oh my. Oh, I don't like this as much as the other one. Oh no! I was just... What's going on? I just wanted to test what my... The... The weather is attacking me with lightning! Oh, and... Oh. Now I'm dead. The elements, the very elements have turned against me. I'm bleeding lives. Okay. Well, I just lost a ton of lives. Rip the, rip the deathless run. <laughs> Exit to the right. Looks like there's something down here. So the beam, we can angle the beam. I don't know how to do it. There we go. Oh. Well, I may be a goner. <laughs> not Can I go oh go through here I see reflective shot there's some health power up the dialogue the Audio dialogue is clearer in this game than it is in Gauntlet Legends.
totally not stolen from other Nintendo games. Um, I don't know what that's in reference to. I read it too late, Sparrow. Um, it's a shame the characters uh, don't flash white or something to say that they're taking damage. I found this bit very difficult the first time. The weather bit? The weather bit was a nightmare. It's a, it's a beginner's trap for sure. I've got some very, very spongy enemies in this game. I feel like I missed something back here. What's this? I can bounce it with my head. Uh, I'm assuming this is invincibility. This isn't the exit, right? Good. Okay, good. It's full of goodies. Oh, now it's gone. Feels like cheating to have this rapid fire on, I have to say. I mean, it was on by default, so. You know, I don't accept the blame, but. Still doesn't really feel great. Oh, I don't want to go back over there. That place is awful. Oh, thank goodness that platform showed up. Oh no, I'm running out of time! Run! Run! Mr. Turrican! No! Alright, well, I've got a lot of time now. I guess I can go explore. I don't really don't want to blow this uh, platform up. I really don't want to get blown off of these platforms by the awful wind. Limited continues. Alright, well, I'm not going to use one. Since we're on the first level, we might as well restart. <laughs> the weather bit. Um, I don't know if things continue to get more and more difficult or not. We will, <laughs> we will all see. <laughs> that we shall. That we shall. Loyal to soil. Welcome in, Loyal. How you doing, Frowning? I'm doing very well. I'm uh, trying out this... Uh, Super Turrican for the first time, and so far so good. Yeah, we're off to a we're off to a good start. No, I'm not doing excellently necessarily, but I'm having fun, and that's what's most important, right? Oh, hang on. Well, like there are all these things to grab, but also. These platforms are begetting additional platforms. One up. One up. Oh, all oh, those wasps do a lot of damage. Oh, hang on. Wait a minute. Oh, no. You really have to wait for the wind between every jump. All right, we're out of the storm.
rid of that eyeball guy. So the level, these levels are very, are very Sonic-like to me. They have, uh, there's multiple paths. I think this is the exit, but power up. power up. You were so close too. I was. I was right there at the end. Wow! I was ready for Turrican, but this is too super. I didn't know you could shoot the wasp nest. I'm fighting a giant robotic hand. It could be a foot. There's no thumb. the boss? That guy was easy. He's probably a nightmare if I show up without a weapon upgrade, though. Um, oh no, I blew up the platform. I can't get up to those now. Okay, now I can swim. The enemies in this game are very spongy. It's not the it's not the worst, but uh, so I get that. Oh, I ran my health out. Okay. I was kind of stuck here anyway. I get that the that the different colored icons provide me with different types of weapons. But I mean really I just kind of feel like grabbing every weapon I see and just cycling through whatever the game gives me. I don't see uh this guy looks like a swamp monster. I don't really see a point in Worrying too much about uh, what what weapon I have at any given moment. This is some very eighties music. is in oh never mind just gotta say my health is in jeopardy ok 
Okay, I don't actually want any of those things. Power up. Power up. I love the I love the voice. It's so good. The thumb is there, it's just kind of blended in. I couldn't make it out. You beat the final boss. <laughs> The big sky gradient colors were characteristic of this game on the 16-bit system showing off how many colors could be on the screen at once. It actually it reminds me of um, the skyline in... Um, it reminded me of the skyline in Super C, though I like the colors in Super C a little better. But I was, I was actually thinking about commenting on the sky. Because it did look pretty good. Super C had a stronger purple to it, so of course I liked it a little better. I really don't like the time limit. This, this game feels like it's made for exploring, and time limit is antithetical to that. Same problem I have with Sonic. Does this game compare much to Super C? So your character is a little less able than in um, Super C. The paths are less linear, um, which is, could be a good or bad thing. Um, I would say that's kind of a neither here nor there. This game looks really good. You can aim in multiple directions in Super C. That's why I say your character is more capable. I think I like the mu I think I probably like the music better in this game. I can't even think of what Super C music sounds like. And I've played that game for a hundred hours or more. Geeks James. Welcome in, James. Pleasure to have you with us again. Welcome to Super Turrican. Um, at least it's not a clone, right? But the rolling and leaving bombs is very Metroid. Don't forget about the weird freeze gun thing. That's the only thing that looks to be capable of aiming. Yeah, I um, yeah, I've used the beam gun a little bit, and yeah, uh, the beam gun can aim. It's kind of weird because it won't. It seems like it won't let you. the The aiming control for the beam gun is kind of weird. I don't. I don't know that I fully understand how to get the angle I want. Oh. Oh, I get it. 
Never mind, I figured it out just now. The beam is weird. I know we've got that big bomb attack, too. I would say that this is like a good alternative like if you were like if you were someone like you're like oh I think that the I think Contra is kind of fun but it's just way too hard and like you, you didn't like Contra because it was too difficult but you liked everything else about it I think this would be a good alternative Secret! No, I wasted the secret! I didn't know I had to jump again! No, I found a secret and I didn't get to collect it. Oh, woe is me. Tank style controls? No. So the the thing about the beam gun is like, you hold the beam, and like I would expect like if I want to aim up with the beam, I just press up. But no, up and down do nothing. What you have to do is while you're holding the beam, you press left or right, and your character will rotate, you know, clockwise or Wittershins. Mean secret. I'm running out of time. <gasps> Great, I was running out of health too, I think. I don't know. Felt like I'd been get I felt like I'd been getting hit a lot. I'm not gonna make it through the level, no. No. It's very lenient with the checkpoints. And look, the the uh, stalactites didn't even respawn. Oh yeah, that that look at that sky. Look at that. I like it with the blue clouds moving by. trouble. No, I'm dead. I can't tell if it just started us back mid-boss fight or if we're back to the beginning of the boss fight. I don't think the boss got his health back. That's uh, This game is very lenient. Pretty sky. 
That's a mean boss. Uh, lives collected, four. Missed, seven. I collected four lives in that level, and I'm still only down, and I'm still down to two left. Huh. Well, I assume this purple liquid is hazardous, right? No? Hmm. Oh, my! Alright, so the steam isn't hazardous. That's weird. Oh. All right. I don't know how I feel about the melody. Oh, another secret, huh? Hey, there's a life up there. Um, exploding and sinking back into the ground is very Sonic-like, too. Uh, the secrets being just, uh, hidden in, uh, walls you can pass through are kinda, is kind of Sonic-like. mess this up. I think I'm supposed to jump on this one to jump on that one. And then I could jump in there, maybe. Power up. Power up. Whoa! I'm not, like, I'm not really crazy about how much the camera moves every time I jump. That's, a. Uh, They should have they should have toned that down a little bit. Secrets everywhere and absolutely no time to figure them out. Yeah, that sounds like Sonic to me. I'm supposed to I'm supposed to let the uh the water move me along. Whenever I see a purple purple liquid flowing, I assume it's poison, like in uh I guess the uh, Mario has done that to me. Power up. Okay, I don't think I can I don't think I can shoot this open. Oh, getting back out of here is going to be a nightmare. I can't roll into there. Hmm. One up. 
one up. Okay, the level of patience required to get by those is a little higher than I was expecting. Not so bad after you do it for a while, though. Oh, now we're, we've got some green liquid. Uh. Music's kind of spooky on this level. Uh. One, up. One up. Ooh, invincibility. Don't mind if I do. There's invincibility all over the place in this level. Uh-oh. Oh, the walls are closing in. I gotta get moving. Oh, I can jump through the platform. I thought I'd jump around the platform. Found another secret. Probably have to jump. Alright. I love it. Secrets everywhere. That was death. I thought I was supposed to go down there. Oh, terrible. I need some lives. I saw that health and I got reckless and I lost yet another life. this weapon. Uh, the, uh, the steam. The steam things are... You see, the thing is, I expect all of them to do fire, but some of them don't, and so then, like, I wait a little while, and I don't see any fire, and then I jump into it, and it blows fire at me right at the wrong, right at the last moment.
I didn't even know I was low on health. Oh, that's terrible. Casio keyboard demo music. Guarding a secret? No, he's guarding a dead end. Was I? Didn't I? I thought I had a shield. Did it wear off? Ugh. I need to be more careful. I need to watch my health. through there. I don't know if I... Oh, I'm just being demolished at every turn. <laughs> I think there was a health up here, though, if I keep going up. I'm glad these uh, enemies don't seem to be able to... I don't think I can keep going up. Oh, there we go. I'm glad the enemies can't. don't seem to be able to fall off the platforms they're on. Oh, thank goodness. enemies on my head. Can this thing spawn a health for me? No health. Is this thing gonna shoot fire too? <laughs> okay, I think I just don't want to fall to any of the gaps. Oh no! I don't know what happened just then. The rolling around dropping bombs move doesn't really seem to... Um, The rolling around dropping bombs move doesn't seem to serve much of a purpose. Maybe I'm just not imaginative enough to figure out how to use it. So the red the red circle gives you the sp the spread gun like I have now. Ooh, another secret. supposed to jump up onto that thing? I can't do that. Oh. 
Well, it's too late now. Blue gives you this. I don't know. I'm going to go back to red. I don't know what the square uh, power-ups are all about. And there doesn't seem to be any purpose to the coins other than score. So my impression of uh, my impression of Turrican up to this point is that it seems to me to be like a like a just a like a sloppy contra. <laughs> so far, it's just to, like design is concerned. <laughs> oh. I have very positive feelings toward it, though. That sounds that sounds negative, but. I don't mean that I don't mean that quite as negative as it sounds. It has a lot of very good similarities to Contra, but its design overall feels a lot sloppier. Oh, I guess oh, I, that guy would get finished off. Looks like a uh, Krang from the Ninja Turtles. A little bit more stone than, uh, you know, stone like, maybe. Okay, there we go. I didn't seem to be doing any damage. Oh, what do I do about that? Oh, okay. It's not bad. Uh, I'm dead. There's a reason one is played a lot more than the other, I suppose. That was a cool boss fight. I like that. I like that a lot. Very good boss. There were 10 lives on that level, and I missed eight of them. It's wild. It's wild how many extra lives are hidden. Oh, we're in the snow. I love it. Now see, I see that extra life up there. I have no clue how I'm going to get to it. There we go. The thing with the hidden platforms, I 
I don't like the way these hidden platforms work. And you know me, I like secrets, but I I don't like these platforms at all. The big problem with them is that they despawn and you can blow them up. And I, I don't like having, you know, such limited chances for getting access to stuff. Oh, you, know, you miss it the first time. It's just gone forever. Too bad for you. I don't know. I don't like it. Ah, uh, here we go. Especially here, this is, ugh. Because I see the thing is I have to have the momentum to make these jumps. But I'm too scared to run and shoot because I'm gonna blow up the platform I need to jump on. I'm on a time limit too. There's a lot to be dissatisfied with <laughs> when it comes to these uh, secret platforms. Uh, not a fan. All right, well, I think I'm going to have to give up on this life. I don't think I have time. I'm also dealing with the wind. I have many problems. Uh, eight is so many. Based on the amount of lives they give you in each level, I guess they expect you to lose a lot of them. It's easy to lose a lot of lives in this game. That's for sure. Alright, well, I'm not going to mess around with that, uh, with those platforms anymore. I don't have the, uh, technical ability required to do that just yet. If I had the time, I would stay there forever and figure it out, but... time limit and we've got the wind blowing I like all the crystals and the uh, pink mountains in the background though So I saw this level playing when the game was, uh, you know, when the game was running by itself in demo mode earlier. And so I was like, oh, there's an ice level. It looks pretty good. I was excited for it. Uh, and I saw the character riding on one of those snowballs. I thought, oh, that looks like that's going to be fun. Not as fun as I was expecting. That thing is going to hurt me. Oh, there's spikes on the ceiling, too. <laughs> all right. Oh, I'm slipping all around. Oh no! Yeah, you can jump on some of the enemies Mario style. 
I think, I feel like some of the enemies it hurts you to jump on and some it doesn't though, so it's... Oh, it's our last continue. These are not the kind of obstacles you put at a game with limited continues. <laughs> Sinking platforms and stuff that like, pushes you back like that. Oh. Oh, I don't like it. I'm not, I'm not equipped to handle this. So where I became real sad was when I came to one of these snowballs and I was like, I was like, all right, I'm going to push this and I'm going to jump on it and ride it down the cliff, but you can't actually push them. At least it gave me a power up, so I got to go to the grave with full health. <laughs> okay, I just need to wait everywhere I go. Figuring this out much too late. The strategy is always just to wait. One up. Nice. I actually got one. So, like the mammoth here, I don't think you can jump on the mammoth. If you jump on the mammoth, it hurts you. But some of the some of the like little robot enemies you can jump on. Look at that, I actually found a secret one up. That's not the kind of thing that happens. Oh. Okay, we're waiting for the wind to uh, behave. This is weird. I kind of like the idea of this. I have to wait and jump with the wind. It's uh, it's really not helping me out here, though. I needed to go up and to the left. I don't think it's going to. That jump shouldn't have worked. <laughs> 
Come on, give me some wind going the way I want to go. Nope, that's the wrong way. Come on, other direction. I'm on a time limit. I can't afford to wait for this wind. No, it finally did it. Four hours in. We're going to time over because the wind won't behave. Why doesn't it go in a pattern? Why is it random? Oh. I just got lucky there. Where'd that extra life come from? I'll take it, but where'd it come from? You know what? I would really like this level, except it's terrible. <laughs> No, I don't want you to say anything. Don't uh, don't help me out. If I uh, if I uh, if I miss something, that's on me. <laughs> I wonder if this pink snow tastes like cotton candy. Good question. I was thinking about that purple liquid from the other level, and I was thinking about how... Oh, wow. Okay, now now it really looks like Contra. <laughs> it, it is! It's 100% Contra. By which I mean it's alien. Oh, no, this level is going to be giant. This level is going to be giant. The time limit is massive. One up. Love it. Um, Contra meets alien. I mean, Contra already is filled with uh, alien ripoffs all over the place. out of health. Alright, I need to be be more careful, I guess. I see there's a one up down there. I'm not really sure how to get down there. Uh, I don't like this guy. Oh, easy. Uh... Should have gotten those further apart. I would have got to enjoy the voice sample again. Um, oh, when we were on the stage of the purple liquid, I was thinking, it's a shame that, like... Is this guy... This guy's a one-hit kill. Alright, maybe he's not, but... I don't know where all my health went last time, then.
All right. Well, this is uh, this is unmanageable. Very bad, very bad situation here. The inability to aim, to the inability to fire directionally has ruined me. Oh. All right, well, from the top. That alien stage is a real nightmare. It wouldn't it'd be awful nice if it told us how many, you know, one-ups we were looking for. You know, when we still had time to actually do anything about it. If I don't have this weapon on that alien stage, I don't know what I'm going to do. Not really a fan of this weather part. <laughs> Got me. Oh, no. I'm not going to survive, am I? 
He was so easy last time. What happened? Where did he get all this extra health? What? Nonsense. Huh. Alright, so yellow is fire, red is uh, red is spread, and uh, blue is like laser beam. That's how the circles work anyway. I still don't I still haven't figured out the squares. Oh, I saw a life up there on the left. Wish the coins gave you lives. Probably something good down there, right? Probably not. I was thinking maybe there'd be a life. Oh no. You leave me alone. Oh no, I can't go back up. I thought the downward path might be a secret. That's why I wanted to explore the... That's why I wanted to save the upward path. And now it looks like the upward path was the secret all along. All right, we made it out alive. Oh, I don't want this power. Oh no, I couldn't jump over it. Yuck, now I'm stuck with this awful power. Never mind, this is good.
all I obtained from up there was a power I don't don't enjoy. We can't go through there. Alright, well I have to get this power because I want to see if there's a secret in the wall. There's not. It would have been worth it if there was. shield really doesn't last all that long. This power turned out to be really good for this area. That wasp was up to... You can't jump past... Uh, the enemies can fly higher than the screen, but I can't jump higher than the screen. It's a ceiling for me, but not for them. And so, like, I can't... I couldn't take out the bees because the, I couldn't jump high enough to hit them. <laughs> That's irritating. Okay, this is just survive the rocks, if I remember right. Uh, oh, easier said than done. Got the secret this time. Oh, there's another secret. Nice. Now that was good. Double secret leading to a one up. I'm not going to complain about that. I don't think I have enough time to make it through the level, though. I think we're going to lose that one up when I time over. It's crazy how many different weapon power-ups there are. Like, how many weapon changes there are just scattered randomly everywhere in this game. <laughs> Get the heart. Oh, I saw that bee coming for me. Oh.
feel like this boss should be designed to look like a kangaroo. Oh, the time limit stops when you're at the boss. That's nice. That's good. Really good. It's kind of weird it starts up again after you defeat the boss, but... Uh. Oh, yuck. It didn't refill my bombs in between stages. Look, I've still only got two. Secret. Oh, the secret is not worth it. There's not even a life up here. Um, so many power ups and extra lives, my kind of game. I like the secrets. I like the collectibles. I don't know about how there's so many power ups everywhere. I don't really like having my weapon changed on me so frequently. I wish I had the. Uh, I wish I had more say in that. Boat ladder, welcome in. Welcome to Super Turrican. We're having a pretty good time. You know, I have got a couple things about the game I'm not crazy about, but overall, this is a very fine game. Tonight's my first time playing any of the Turrican games, and my impression has been, and I think still remains, that it's uh, it's very much like a uh, like a more sloppily designed Contra. any way to get past there without being hit because of the sequence those were in. Is it worth it to go down there for that health? Am I going to come out with more health than I go in with? It's weird that the coins are called diamonds because there's nothing diamond. I mean, they shine, I guess, but nothing about it says diamond to me.
I wish I'd chosen to have coffee tonight instead of a kombucha because I feel like I've got like a caffeine withdrawal headache forming. I haven't had any caffeine today. No, it, it roasted me. Well, good thing I got that one up. I've been on that caffeine train today, very busy and very twitchy. I'm envious. All right, made it through. Okay, I feel like this secret is not really worthwhile, but... <laughs> that secret should have been a, an extra life and not a power-up. It, it doesn't make any sense to give me a power-up right at the beginning of the level. There's hardly anywhere to lose health before that point. Okay, there was nothing over there if I remember correctly. Ah, oh, fire! I think there was nothing over there too. What am I doing? Once I start doing that, I don't know how to stop. I don't know if I ever explored what the upward path over here held. Mm, I think I did. This is feeling familiar. It holds nothing. The 
jumps. The jumps. This part's bad. No, I found a secret. Ah. I was right near health. This is that's oh, that's aggravating. Get blown up right next to a health. I wish the uh, I wish the fire was telegraphed more clearly and consistently. Ooh, there's a life up there. Um, I don't think it's obtainable. It didn't say one up. Power up. Oh, goodness, I'm out of time. See, the thing about this is I've got to beat the boss, but then I'm not going to have enough time to run to the end of the level. Well, I may beat the boss.
A glorious mode seven. I didn't actually have to run to the end of the level. What luck. Victory. Ah, ice world. Okay, this is where... This is where things get real. There's, there's no way. Oh, now I blew it up, so there really is no way. Jumping between those platforms, I hit my head on the ceiling there, so. I don't know. I don't know that that one-up is even possible for anybody to get. This one might be possible. No, I need... I need that uh, snowball, please. Mm. This level has ice physics and wind, <laughs> okay? It's not easy to jump. <sighs> oh, that was a real struggle. <sighs> oh. I don't know if I've ever played. I can't remember if I've ever played a level with uh, ice physics and wind simultaneously. Oh, thank you for the uh, thank you for the trophies, my friends. Thank you, cows and sparrow. Take that stone spinny crane clone. <laughs> yeah, the guy's got a lot going on. No. I don't have the traction to properly build up momentum. And then when and then uh even if I do build up momentum, as soon as I jump I lose it because the wind is blowing to the left. Oh. This level is a real nightmare. It's probably might be a secret down there to the right. I really want to jump down there and investigate, but I have limited lives and continues, so. 
game will just have to keep its secrets for now. That's a difficult jump to make. Ugh. This, this just, just hit the player with every pushback obstacle we can imagine <laughs> all at once. We'll also take away traction and uh, and we'll drop the platforms out from under him too. <laughs> So evil. Oh. <sighs> this level. <laughs> I was thinking there's a one up around here and I was thinking did I did I get it was it behind the coin no, got it uh. I will say this part is easier is a little easier when you know what you're doing but it's still frustrating the wind behaves in very irritating ways It is a little bit more, it is a little bit more clear what it's doing. Hang on. It's still not a pattern, but there's a, there's a tell I didn't recognize before. I wonder if he runs straight off that slope. If you fall into the uh, end of the level, or if you if you run straight off of that, if you uh, if you die, they must have known snow is your favorite. They must have, and they then they were determined to ruin it for me. What? What was happening to me? Why'd I blow up? Okay, that platform's gone. Do these drops hurt me? No. I don't know what... I don't know what was causing my doom there. I know it's not going to happen, but I'd really love to try and keep this, uh, this weapon.
I think enemies typically don't respawn. Oh, I hope there's a health over here. There is. Are those guys really trapped up there? I think they are. Power up, one up. Nice. Oh, where'd he come from? Alright, secret passageway. Don't mind if I do. Oh no, it's not a real secret. Oh, okay, yeah it is. I was just stuck on something, I guess. Oh no, it's not. What? jump uh. oh I jumped right into that bullet and another one but the second one was wasn't as clumsy as the first Screen fell asleep. That's weird. I don't want to go to the right because I don't want to pick up that power up. I don't think I have a choice though. I think this leftward path is going to end in a dead end. I'm on a time limit. I can't afford to be moving so cautiously. Where'd he come from? He stayed gone. Oh, if I just made a little further, there was a heart right there. It seems to always be the way. <laughs> Everywhere I die, every time I die, I discover if I just made it a, a couple more feet. for that uh, health up. No, I didn't think the enemies would respawn. Power up. 
power up. Fresh pirate, good to see you. Hope you're uh, hope you're doing well. Welcome to Super Turrican. Tonight's my first night playing this game. I uh, I made it to this level uh, about an hour ago, but I ran out of uh, lives and I ran out of continues. We're on limited continues. This run, I haven't used any continues up yet, so I'm in real good shape. I got a whole lot of lives in my pocket. Oh, I learned a lot on our first on our first attempt. I'm beyond where I made it to before, though, so. In the level, so things are new to me now. And everything new is terrifying. That line move, that line move behaves in not good ways. It's so, it's so hindered by the scenery as to make it useless in many, many situations. This is the progress direction? I thought that was going to be the bonus direction. Is this the bonus direction? There is no bonus. I don't like that the enemies can just sometimes go through the scenery. Oh, yuck. Uh, yeah, well, you know what? This might not be that bad. Alright, hey, we beat an extra level. Nice. Interesting. Can I jump on top of these? Oh, I can. All right, that that changes things a little bit. Uh, no, that part's not good. Not good. Alright, it seems like we just need to permanently be at the front of the screen. <laughs> I 
Ah, uh, that, that, that's not, that's, that's not acceptable. <laughs> Oh no, I'm going to lose all of our lives right here on this one jump. Abysmal. As soon as you see something to jump to, you've got to go right away. If you wait, if you wait a millisecond, you lose your opportunity forever. Power up. Oh, how in the world did I jump too early? I'm really done with this part. I'm really done with this part. Oh, I hate this. <laughs> uh. Oh, uh, Soda Wave is uh, is hosting the stream. Soda Wave, thank you. Welcome to the stream, and thank you for that. I appreciate that. Whoa. Oh, it's a raid! Welcome in. Let me, uh, let me pause it for a moment. Zero Brain. Pleasure to have you with us. So yeah, so do we. Welcome in, and, uh, the raids are acting funny. <laughs> when is uh when is Twitch not acting strangely right? <laughs> oh. Pleasure to have you with us and welcome to your friends. We are we're playing Super Turrican. It's my first playthrough. This is my second attempt tonight. This is the furthest I've been. It's a it's a pretty all right game. It's got some it's got some things that kind of bug me, but it's got some really good music. Ah, and overall it's really good. I've got limited lives though, so this is uh they're limited continues. So making mistakes like that. If you guys stick around, you may get to see the whole game. <laughs> Because uh, I might I might be going right back to the start here really soon. Been a little weird lately, yeah. Super Turrican was on the Genesis. Now this is on the Super Nintendo. There is a Mega Turrican on the Genesis. Did I say Genesis? Because if I did, I I misspoke. Uh, we're on the we're on the SNES. Paula, welcome to the stream. Ah, uh, yeah. I looked up 
a mega turrican before the stream. Mm, I looked uh, I looked it up to see uh, cuz I don't have that one and I was like, well, if I really like super turrican, maybe I'll want to play that one too. Um, it's going for about $100, so <laughs> This may be the this may be the only turrican that we experience. Feeling priced out of uh, most things these days. <laughs> uh, all right, let me see. So you're playing Echo later. I know that's Genesis. Yeah, yeah. Uh, after, yes, yeah. After this, we're gonna we're gonna play Echo. I've been playing it for a while, and I think I'm right right near the end. But the level I'm on is just crushing me. I've been there for like weeks. <laughs> I mean, I only play Echo once a week, but <laughs> spending like four nights on the same level is is really demoralizing. <laughs> uh, what a shame too. Mega Turrican looks more akin to the Amiga and ST versions. Yeah, I didn't look at anything uh, from it. Why is your name Agent Frowny, but you always seem happy? <laughs> Just stick around. Just stick around for the Echo playthrough. <laughs> you'll, see, you'll see a lot of frowns. The Agent Frowny name basically just comes from an inside joke between me and my best friend in high school. And the only reason the stream is called Agent Frowny is because when I decided I wanted to try out streaming, I wanted to pick a name that was available across a couple different platforms. And Agent Frowny, uh, surprisingly, no one had taken. Uh, I try to I try to maintain a positive spirit most of the time. It doesn't it doesn't always work. So uh, you know, hopefully most nights the name is kind of ironic. wish that that was the final challenge of the level but oh it is never mind my wish came true <laughs> uh... echo always sounded so hard echo is a disaster is it from a lot of painful games, perhaps? Uh, be here for maybe an hour, then gotta go to bed. Right on. Well, I'm, I'm happy to have you with us for as long as you, uh... For as long as you are able. 
but I, I also, I don't begrudge people when they have to leave because I stream at very unreasonable hours. Um, what you said is true. He was a happy chap until Echo happened. My first stream here was Superman 64. What a terrible time that game is too. <laughs> There's someone in this chat that loves to tell us that Lex wins. What do you mean someone, Sparrow? There are a couple people. <laughs> I fully expect an hour from now my chat's just going to be spammed with solve my maze and Lex wins. Cal <laughs> uh, says I do enjoy shouting Lex wins from time to time. Uh, I was up until 5.30 a.m. my time watching the same Twitch stream for over five hours, so I'm kind of tired right now. But I'm staying because I'm addicted to Twitch. Uh. Uh. Alright, look at that. We got a 1-up right at the start of the level. <sighs> Thank goodness, because I need 1-ups very badly. Um, I also want this power-up. No! I don't know what's going down. What's going on down there? I don't feel like I want to be a part of it. I didn't know those guys could spit almonds. <gasps> I think that ability is new for this level. No! Power up. Power up. Well, I hope I'm falling the right way. This place is a mess. Oh, please. I just gotta run past it. I don't have the uh, the ability to aim the way I need to. I, I see that guy up there. He's not fooling me. No. I feel like if I just keep jumping down into pits, I'm going to run out of floor. Frowny's slow, painful undoing, becoming his chosen moniker. <laughs> You know the level you're on is long if you have a thousand, get a thousand seconds to beat it. Yeah, I was actually crying about that on, a, on an earlier level when I had got 700 seconds. I was like, oh no, this level's going to be, this level's going to last forever. This is even worse. This is true, particularly because levels that would need a lot more time to find all the secrets are not are given not nearly enough. Yeah, this game has the same problem as a uh, as Sonic games in that like there are secrets hidden everywhere that you know you want to find, but then the game gives you no time, so you can't really go looking for any of them. The way time is handled in Sonic all around is just horrible. Mm. 
And to be clear, it's not it's not good when, when other games, like, Mario has secrets and a time limit, and that's not good when Mario does it either, but Mario's levels are usually smaller and more linear, so... And most importantly, see, the worst thing about the time limits in Sonic is when you die, the timer doesn't restart. So if you die with if you die with two seconds left on the clock, then you're losing two lives. Because as soon as you respawn, you're gonna time over. That's awful. That's no way to treat the player. Is this a boss? I don't know what's going on. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, I missed a jump. This is why we got all this time, because I'm probably going to fail this a lot. What? Oh, this is not good. Oh, Super Turrican, why? Why Super Turrican? Why can't we just be friends? <laughs> Seriously, I made it once. I know it's possible. I'm getting worse. My maximum platform achieved is slipping backward further and further. Oh. Oh. I think no time limit Sonic would be really fun. Um, sorry, let me, uh. Let me see. I want to keep up with you. Uh, I want to keep up with you guys. Uh, I think no time, no time limit Sonic would be really fun. Must be a ROM hack for that, probably. This game is a lot more in depth than most games I've played, so I shall say no to playing this game ever. I wish there was a Sonic game with no time limit. I would really. Uh, be so fun to explore the levels that you play. I believe, I, so I haven't played uh, Sonic Mania, but I believe Sonic Mania has no time limits, or it has a no time limit option. Um, I think someone in the chat told me that. Thank you for the follow, Zero Brain. Much appreciated. I'm very happy to have you on board with us. Um, <laughs> yeah, I've got a, I've got a slow, I've got a slow mode here. <laughs> um, it's not. I believe me, I. Chat, chat as much as you, as as much as you'd like. I appreciate people chatting with me. Um, I know the slow mode can sometimes discourage sometimes discourage that, but I uh, I keep it on for a couple reasons. Um, one is uh, just a precaution against a, an, a potential invasion of of trolls, um, so that there's a limit to how quickly uh, a, a a ne'er do well could can spam the chat, um, but also sometimes I do challenge runs in games, and <laughs> it's helpful to me if the chat if the chat scrolls more slowly during those times.
Whoa. No, I didn't want to get that power up. I wanted to save that. Look, there's a time limit up at the top, but it doesn't even scroll. <laughs> Phase one. What's what's happening to the screen? The screen started to glitch as the boss exploded. Oh, is that it? I think we might have won. To slow Sparrow down, yeah. <laughs> uh, thank you for the trophy, Sparrow. Ah, finally. Catechus and its inhabitants are freed from the clutches of the evil machine. Joy and laughter once again filled the crowded temples and once deserted ruins. And Turrican moved on. Beaten this time, the machine started to regain its powers. The adventure is just beginning. Turrican will return. Hey, thank you. Thank you for the GGs and the trophies. Awesome. I knew you could do it in one take. It was well, it wasn't one take, Sparrow. <laughs> one night, yeah, maybe, but <laughs> I did get a game over earlier. And so, Turrican did not return. <laughs> is this the last game? Did, is that true? Did Turrican not return? <sighs> it's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's, it's very sloppily designed in many areas. <laughs> but, but it's a pretty good game. I'd probably play it again a bit down the line. Um, it's not something that I that I feel like I that I feel like I necessarily need to like master like like Contra or something like that. Um, so I, I'd say I'll, I definitely play. I'll definitely play it again. But I'm I don't really feel the need to uh, to master this one. I guess is exactly what I just said. There is a Super Turrican, too. Based on a character created by... Manfred Trends. Never heard of him. One thing to consider is this game derived from the C64 era, although the 16-bit era was well and truly established by then. Playing this on a C64 has got to be terrible. Um, maybe we'll give it a try. If I if I can remember the next time we do a C64 mini night, maybe we'll put this. Uh, maybe we'll put this on the uh, on the list of things to do. I wanted I want to do one of those again, but it's another one of those things where like the schedule is my my schedule is so polluted with so many games that I haven't finished. <laughs> That it's kind of uh, it's kind of preventing me from doing that. But sometime here soon, because I want to play that uh, I want to play that onion game too, that we talked about. That platformer.
Yeah, yeah. And um, Stack Cat recommended Rags to Riches. Um, so uh, there's a there's a couple there's a couple games already like waiting for us when uh, the next time we uh, we fire up the C64. I think I'm gonna head off to bed. I enjoyed the time I was here. I'll be back next time you stream. Well, thank you. I stream. I stream very frequently, so you'll have many opportunities to catch me. And I juggle a whole lot of different stuff. <laughs> uh, almost always retro, but but not necessarily. <laughs> but thank you for being here. Thank you again for the follow, and I hope you sleep well. We'll look forward to. Uh, we'll look forward to have you join us again. And uh, with that, we're gonna move over to um, we're gonna move over to Echo. This took uh, not quite the three hours that uh, it that it was uh, allotted tonight, so that's nice. We've got some extra time for Echo, so you know, <laughs> I've got more time to suffer. <laughs> if if I somehow complete Echo, we're also gonna play um, uh, see if we can make some progress in a Fazana do. Um, but I wouldn't encourage you to stick around hoping for that because Echo has been a real struggle and there's no guarantee I'm going to finish it. <laughs> but we're going to give it several hours of attempts. So if you just stand by a moment, my friends, I'm going to switch the consoles over and <sighs> let's... <laughs> Let's get ready for, <laughs> for a real rough time. <laughs>